Hey Lian, this is Jeff with Zucor Marketing. We're based out of San Antonio, Texas, and as promised, here's your website analysis. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get more customers online. We're also going to run through a couple of things that you can implement right now. And aside from reviewing your website, we're also going to look at one of your top competitors website and show you how they're currently beating you online and the things that you can actually do differently to counteract that. So first, we'll start off with your website. You actually have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo at the top. You have good photos, nice layout, good amount of content, pretty good portfolio, and the services you offer. You also have your client testimonials, which is really important for a website. So there's actually just some few things we're going to get over with first to make sure we get you on top of the search list. One thing I can tell right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1,500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google size. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you'd want to have 1,500 words or more. So let's go ahead and do a quick count just first to see how many words you have on your homepage. So currently you have 756 words, which is a pretty good number. However, we're still quite behind with the goal of 1500, so if you add more words into your homepage, the better. Another thing we like to talk about are keywords. Google is also looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. If you have the exact words listed multiple times in your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So I did a quick search and I used the keyword countertops in San Antonio, Texas. We'll talk more about the results that we have here. So let's start off with the first one. This is what we call the map pack. And of course, this is something where you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of attention, a lot of traffic, and they're easier to find. One way for you to actually be here is you'll need to have Google My Business profile where you'll enter as much information as possible, like the company name, phone number, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, and so on and so forth. And also, if you add those same information into as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, and G.com, that will really help you a lot to appear in the map pack faster. Moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. So these are all the websites that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads, just because they're doing some certain things. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about and analyze. So I pulled up one of your top competitors' website, the one that ranks higher in the map pack and the organic. Let's see what they have differently. So for their website, they also have their logo at the top. They have good photos, good amount of contents, client testimonials, the services they offer. Let's see how many words they have on their homepage. So for their website, they have 1,675 words, which is a perfect number. So they've already exceeded the goal of 1,500. Well, if you add more words into your homepage, the higher chances of your website in being considered by Google as a much more trustworthy website. Let's move on to the numbers. So we have here Ahrefs, one of the paid tools that we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. So we'll be talking more about the numbers starting off with DR. This is the level of trust that Google has in your website and you are is the strength of your website. Backlinks on the other hand, these are other website that for first tier website. So they're like shout outs from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and the like. Well, you actually have a pretty good number with backlinks. But one important thing that I need to talk about backlinks and referring domains is that this actually needs to be a 2 to 1 ratio. So this 46 referring domains that you have. These are what we call the good or high quality backlinks. And the rest of the missing backlinks, those are what we consider the spammy backlinks. Let's take a look at your competitors' numbers. So with DR and UR, well, it shows that you actually have a much more trustworthy website, although they have a stronger website. That's also because they have more keywords. They have a better um, ratio between their backlinks and referring domains, which gave them um way more traffic so what you can actually do differently on your end is of course you can still increase the number of your backlinks you can also add more keywords just don't forget to increase the high quality backlinks for you to have a much better ratio and as a result you'll definitely get more traffic out of it 
Let's go ahead and take a look at the keywords that your competitors are using and let's discuss the importance of having the right ones on your website. So here are the organic keywords. These are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for these specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are the total number of people that searches for the specific keywords on Google every month. So that's how important choosing the right keyword is. That way, more customers will be able to find your website quicker and easier. Another thing we like to share about keywords is what we call the hidden keyword. So for every photo that you have listed on your website, you can actually rename them with a hidden keyword instead. That way, you'll be able to have more hidden keywords added into your website. And not only that, of course, for those keywords to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can do to improve your ranking is first, the, the amount of content where we're going to add more words into your homepage. That way, Google actually consider your website a much more trustworthy website. Next are the backlinks where we're going to add your information to more directories as possible. That way, we can actually bring you more traffic and, of course, the higher chances of your website in appearing in most of the map pack searches. Last but not least will be the keywords where we're going to help you out in adding more keywords and, of course, choosing the right ones. That way, more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. So these are all the things that you can actually implement right now. And of course, we can also help you out in making these changes and more with the goal of getting you many new customers. I'm also going to be following up just to get some feedback about the ideas I discussed on this video. So I really do appreciate your time. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.